Hey guys, welcome to the end of 2018. I am wearing a happy face. I got to. Like, I can't be sad about 2018 because 2018 was a pretty exciting year for us. Um, lots of ups and downs, lots of growing, lots of changes. And so with us leaving 2018, I am not super sad. Um, I'm actually kind of excited. 2019 is going to be just as fun as 2018. Lots of room for growth, lots of room for change, lots of room for just a personal growth within me. And so I am excited that you guys are back watching another video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, my name is Misty. And if you are just watching, Welcome to the end of 2018, and I am excited that we're going to be starting 2019. I am way, way excited. So if you've never subscribed, hit my subscribe button down here, or I think it's over here, my notification bell. You want to get notified every time that I'm making a new video because 2019 is going to be exciting. I cannot even wait. So um, I am ending out 2018 with my empties. Um, I have been using some of this stuff for the last uh, couple of months, so in November and December. I kind of saved some stuff up, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what is empty in 2018. So I'm kind of starting off, this isn't quite empty, but it is almost empty. I've been trying to use it, and I've just been trying to use the stuff that I have instead of buying new stuff. So um, I am almost done with the Rose Fine Fragrance Smith by Bath & Body Works. As you can see, I have a little bit left, but I'm really, really trying to get through this. Um, this has been one of my favorite scents for 2018. And um, I'm going to move forward in 2019 and move on to some different scents. So this is, I do have another one of these, but like I said, I am trying to just get through my stuff and try to do... I'm going to try to be better in 2019. I'm not going to try to buy as much stuff. I'm going to try to use what I have. So um, I look forward to some brand new videos, but this is one of my empties for 2018. Moving on with that, um, one of my favorite scents that was my signature scent for 2018 was Poison Girl. Poison Girl by Dior. I love this bottle. Look how pretty this bottle is. This is almost done as well. There's a few more sprays. I absolutely only use this one. I'm going out with my husband, date night, a special event, like, mm, this is absolutely amazing. I love Dior products, if you do too, and you've never tried out Poison Girl, definitely run out and go get this. Uh, if you're looking for a new scent for 2019, I 100% recommend this. This smells so delicious, and hopefully I get a bigger bottle for my birthday. All right, so moving on, I kind of put stuff in the sack. I'm going to just unload it, and then we're going to load it back up. So I don't know about you guys, but when I shower, I love a, I love a loofah. And I don't know about you. Tell me, you guys leave me a comment down below. Does yours do this? Like, what the heck? Like, look at how just get, this just gets so gross and nasty and moved out, and I don't even get it. This one is going by, I love purple. I did get a new purple one, it is in the shower right now. This one is going bye bye. I don't know what happens to these. I, I didn't even know how they get stretched out, but they, excuse me, they get really gross and disgusting. So this is going bye bye for 2018. Yes it is. So next thing that's going for 2018 is my Pantene Pro V CC Shine Spray. I absolutely love this. I had a few bottles throughout the year of 2018 and this worked as my holy grail for shine spray and um, I had a few bottles and the husband was using this he absolutely loved this as well too so if you never use this um I think I'm going to try to find something new for 2019 um like I said I want some comments this year leave me some com I need to know what you guys are using out there for shine spray I'm currently using one uh, I think I'm using currently, what am I using? I am using, where did I put it? Oh, I'm using the Garnier Fruity Style uh, Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. This is what I'm currently using and I'm halfway through it. Um, you'll see this in an empty video for 2019. Look forward to that video coming shortly for 2019. But if you've never tried this and you want to try it, 
uh, that you can find it somewhere. I just have decided to move on and find a new Holy Grail for 2019. Next thing that I am currently out of um, is my White Rain Moisturizing Body uh, Body Wash. <laughs> I couldn't think of what I wanted to call it. Body Wash, people. Body Wash. I'm out of this. I go through this really quickly. Um, I do like body wash versus soap. Um, I try to use a facial soap on my face and I try not to use soap on my body because I think it's just too harsh. And um, I love me some body wash. Uh, this would have 25% extra free. This was in Active Botanicals and I really like this. It was very moisturizing. Um, will I buy again? Probably, but I did buy something new for 2019. And I did buy a couple of bottles. All right, next thing that I'm currently out of is I went out of shampoo. I was using the Garnier Whole Blends Soothing Shampoo, Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter. We all know what that looks like and I love this as a holy grail for shampoo. Absolutely love this. Um, local CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, you know where to pick it up. Um, this was one of my favorite shampoos, but I think I'm going to be moving towards some new shampoos for 2019. So this is definitely going bye-bye as well. Next thing that's going bye-bye for 2019, I bought this. Um, this was a daily renewing skin cleanser. Um, I did get this at the dollar store. I did try it out, um, but I will stick with my Neutrogena. I absolutely love that stuff. This I just tried out for the month of November. And it was okay, it did the job, but I do love my Neutrogena um, instead. Next thing that I'm out of is a, another shampoo. This was the Whole Blends Illuminating Shampoo, Moroccan Argan Oils and Camilla Oils. This um, is what that looked like. And I absolutely loved Garnet products um, November and December. This is what I was using for my shampoo. And now I've moved on to L'Oreal. Um, another, now we're going to move in kind of to some makeup products. Um, I was using this. I did order this, um, online a long time ago. We can clearly see it's dirty and beat up and I absolutely love this. Um, uh, this was, <coughs> excuse me, this was the baked highlighter. I can't see who it was by, but it's gone. I, I love highlighters and I've kind of moved on to some new highlighters, so that's going bye-bye. Another thing that I was loving for 2018 was the Wet n Wild ColorCon Bronzer. Um, I hit pan on that, folks. I used the S out of this. Yes, I did. I absolutely love these. Um, but um, I think I'm going to be branching out. I'm definitely shopping more at Ulta. Um, I've, I'm loving a lot of more out of my wheel element. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm kind of branching out and trying new products. So I um, look forward to some of those videos coming um, in 2019. And then I was using um, Superstay. This is the Better Skin Skin Transformation Foundation. Um, I don't know what color I was in, but it was, got really gross. And this is what I was using for November and December as well. I had two bottles of this. I think I was like, I don't even know what color, but I was digging it for a minute and now I'm over it. So those were some of my empties for November and December. Uh, I'm Sad that we're departing this way for 2018, moving into 19. Like I said, I do plan to um, get some more videos up in 2019. I do plan to have a schedule doing videos on Sunday and Monday. And again, my name is Misty. If you're brand new to my channel, uh, we love talking about empties, as you can clearly see. I like talking about coffee. I like talking. I like beauty. I like styling i just love talking that's what my channel's about like we just want to sit down we want to have a cup of coffee we want to grab our diet coke this is what i'm drinking tonight i'm drinking responsibly tonight staying in me and the husband we ate some dinner we are going to sit down we're going to watch a video and just relax at home and ring in the new year together 
What are you guys doing to ring in the new year? Leave me a comment down below. I want to know what you guys are doing. I want to see your empties. I can't wait to see your videos for 2018 or 19, end of 2018, moving into 2019. So I am not going to ask for New Year's resolutions, resolutions, because I don't like them. I just like to start off each new year wishing all my friends and family and fellow YouTubers out there a very happy and safe season. And hey, we're all gonna have lots of fun in 2019. I can't wait. Thanks again for stopping by my channel. Happy New Year to you all. Bye.